Have you ever stopped to consider how gardening might impact your mental health? This age-old practice has been consistently linked to a plethora of mental health benefits. Imagine this, every time you dig into the earth, you're not just cultivating plants, but also sowing the seeds of improved mood, bolstered self-esteem, and an enhanced attention span. The act of gardening is a gentle yet compelling invitation to engage in physical activity. It's a chance to stretch those muscles, breathe in the fresh air, and let the sun kiss your skin. The vibrant colors, the scent of blooming flowers, and the rustle of leaves all work in harmony to soothe the senses. Gardening is also a social catalyst, fostering bonds with fellow green thumbs. It can be a shared joy, a mutual journey of growth, and a common ground for building connections. It's a space where you can lend a helping hand, swap gardening tips, and celebrate the fruits of your labor together. Indeed, planting a seed is not just about growing a plant, but also nurturing positivity within ourselves. Did you know that gardening teaches us a lot about resilience and learning from our mistakes? It's true. Life in the garden is never perfect. Plants wilt, pests invade, and storms wreak havoc. But the beauty of it all is that it's not about avoiding these challenges, but rather learning to navigate through them. Gardening is a process of trial and error where we learn to adapt and grow from our experiences. We plant a seed and it may not sprout, but instead of giving up, we try again, perhaps with a different approach or a different variety. This embodies the essence of resilience, bouncing back stronger from adversity. These lessons from the garden can be valuable for our mental health too. Just as we learn to nurture plants through their ups and downs, we can apply the same approach to our emotions and mental state. We can cultivate resilience by acknowledging our mistakes, learning from them, and using them as stepping stones to grow and evolve. So the next time you're in your garden, remember, it's not just about growing plants, it's about growing resilience. Just like in life, in gardening, every mistake is a stepping stone to success. Can gardening complement other mental health treatments? Absolutely. Gardening is a natural ally to mental health treatments. It's more than just the physical exercise. It's about the calming effect of nature, the mindfulness aspect of it. When we garden, we're not just planting seeds in the earth, we're planting seeds of hope, of growth, and of healing within ourselves. The act of nurturing a plant from seed to full bloom mirrors our own personal growth and healing. It's a tangible representation of the results of care, patience, and time. Imagine this, each time you're tending your plants, you're also tending to your mental well-being. You're in the moment, focused on the task at hand, which can have a meditative effect. This mindfulness practice, the act of being present, can help manage stress and anxiety. Moreover, the sense of accomplishment when you see your plants thriving provides a boost to your self-esteem. It's a gentle reminder that you too can flourish with a little nurturing and care. So gardening is not just a hobby, it's a therapeutic tool that can support our mental health journey. But is gardening all roses and no thorns? Let's acknowledge the fact that, like any other activity, gardening does come with its share of risks. The potential for injuries, like cuts or scrapes, or even more serious issues like strains or sprains, is real. Moreover, gardening can expose you to bacteria and fungi in the soil, which, while usually harmless, can occasionally cause illness. So how do we ensure that our green thumbs don't lead to blue moods? By practicing safe gardening. This includes wearing protective gear, such as gloves and sturdy shoes, to prevent injuries. Regularly washing your hands and avoiding touching your face can also help to reduce the risk of illness from soil-borne pathogens. Remember to take breaks and avoid overexerting yourself to prevent strains and sprains. And if you're new to gardening, consider starting slow, maybe with a few indoor plants or a small outdoor plot, to gradually build strength and endurance. With the right precautions, gardening can be a safe and beneficial activity for everyone. Wondering how to get started with gardening for mental health? Well, let's sow the seeds of your new journey together. One of the easiest ways to start gardening is by joining a community garden. It's a great place to learn, share, and grow together, not just plants but also relationships. If you're more of an indoor person, fear not. Indoor plants are an excellent way to bring nature into your home. Start with easy-to-care-for plants like succulents or snake plants. They're hardy, require minimal attention, and can thrive in a variety of indoor conditions. But remember, not all plants are created equal. Careful plant selection is key. Choose plants that suit your lifestyle and environment. Some plants need more sunlight, while others thrive in the shade. Do a bit of research, ask for advice, and choose plants that you feel a connection with. 
Remember, every garden starts with a single seed, and every journey to better mental health starts with a single step.